Hi everyone, this is Jess. I want to show you a really fun technique using our 67 millimeter hoop. So I'm going to turn this into this. Um, it's natural brass, so it's malleable and easy to form and alter, which you all know I like to alter things. So <laughs> um, rarely do I leave something as is. But anyhow, if you did like this hoop, this way you could just bring this together with a jump ring and hang something in the center of it, or whoops, create a bead link here, and it could become a bracelet bangle. There's so many things I've done with this hoop, so um, I really enjoy designing with this piece. Excited to show you. This, um, I turned just a really organic freeform hoop to frame an absolutely gorgeous Swarovski piece. This is amazing. So this special piece here is their 30 by 20 millimeter Neo Glory drop pendant, and this color is just the crystal color. Um, look at all those cuts in here and those facets. This piece is phenomenal, and it's pretty exclusive. This is not, um, I think this was a very limited run for them, and we um, got some to include into this month's bead mix and project for you. So if you are interested, I highly suggest picking that bead mix up pretty quickly because once they're gone, they're gone. We don't have a lot of stock of this item. And it might come in um, two or three different colors depending on which they're all the base of crystal. And some might have like um, like moonlight silver over it or, but um, we'll show that um, on the blog. But anyhow, let's get started. So with that, in mind, what we're gonna do here is, I am going to, um, like I said, this is very free form, so really it's pretty hard to get them identical. As you could see the piece here in the necklace is wrapped a little bit um, closer together than this, where this has a different shape. So very different and organic to work with. You could use like a jar or a bottle or a mandrel to um, form your circle nice but I honestly like just doing it free form um, this might be a little bit more of a teardrop shape this time or oval or you can make it completely circular by using a mandrel like I said so I'm just kind of crossing these ends over and as you could see this has little tabs on it with a hole pre-punched and I'm not going to worry about that I'm actually just going to wrap them and just tuck them in and it's just kind of a cool element you could always um, remove that and file it down, but I'm just gonna go ahead and design with it as is. So I like to start with my hands there, and then when it gets a little bit tough to bring these pieces around, go ahead and grab your chain nose pliers and just start gripping this and um, wrapping the like wire end around itself. Okay. So I got that side here, and I think for this one, I'm gonna like bring this back around over here. And form this, tuck this around the back. Okay, so then I'm going to take my chain nose and Give it a little bit of crimp to kind of tuck that little tab in that I was talking about. Okay, so this is where I'm a little bit out of shape here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my pliers. If you have a pair of um, nylon coated pliers, you could use those so you don't mar your metal. I don't have one handy right here. Um, just go ahead and straighten that out as much as I can. Kind of crimp down, but there you go. So you could see that um, just by forming this and wrapping these ends around to create like a fun organic shape, you could suspend many things inside of here. You can make this smaller um, by bringing those further out in here. You could then take a hammer and hammer these edges of the wire and flatten them out or leave it as is like I did. Our um, metal reliefing block would be nice to kind of buff and sand it up to. 
So I kind of like that in my design, just like hanging out on the side there. So you could suspend this for many ways. You can make this the top where you do your jump ring around that piece. Um, like that. So yeah, I just simply added this larger, I believe this is a 10 millimeter jump ring and our supply list is on the blog for all of these parts if you wanna make this. You could just suspend that directly from here. But um, in the finished design, I'll show you what I did. So this is um, done with that 10 millimeter jump ring and then our cable jump rings in 7.25 millimeter. And there's one here and then two through the hoop and then into a twisted ring. And this piece was inspired by um, the Swarovski Crystals Around the World theme. And the first step is Austria. So be sure to check out our website and our blog with um, close-ups of these images, with material lists, and more inspiration. Hope you enjoyed.